Stuart. 18th hole, it's a par four. I want to talk about strategy on par fours, but final round, you've got a one shot lead, coming up 18, how are you feeling? I'll probably be very nervous, yeah. <laughs> but no, pretty good, yeah. I'm obviously playing well, so. Strategy is really important, especially when you're under pressure. It's really important to go to a particular sort of idea in your mind as to what you can rely on to then get the right swing and get the ball in the right position. What are you kind of thinking when it comes to a par four, especially a hole like this one? Yeah, we get on here, as you can see, um, you know, it's, it's straight away, but it kind of feels like it's a bit of a left to right dog leg. Yeah. Um, one thing I see straight away is a tree on the left-hand side. I like to hit a fade, so that to me is, is my target, yeah. which is actually left of the fairway. Okay. So it gives me a little bit of leeway. Obviously, as you can see, right is no good. No good. And left uh, left looks okay. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be aiming on the left-hand side of the holes. Okay. Well, let's see you hit a drive, and then we'll wander up there and see how it how it gets on. Sounds good. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that was nice there. Yeah, great swing that. Well, great drive, absolutely position A. But what I want to know is, Pro-Am, playing with an amateur, this is an intimidating tee shot for everybody, mm. but certainly for the amateur golfer. What's your kind of thoughts with them coming up this shot? Yeah, as you can see, it's actually quite visually intimidating. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much ferry out there. It looks like a big carry just because of the way the reeds are and the way the bunkering is. Yeah. Um, but there's a little bit of room up there, but yeah, I think I think the amateur should be definitely kind of aiming up the left half. I mean, you've you've got so much room to the left and none to the right. So yeah, if you kind of just inside the tree line would be a good target. And then if they hit that target, you know, it's, it might be in the rough, but it's, it's not too bad there. Yeah. Well, let's have a little look at where you ended up. Perfect drive, mm. just on the edge of the fairway. 124 yards you've got into this flag. Yep. Pins tucked front right. And you've got a little runoff down the right hand side. You've got a false front there as well. So you don't want anything with too much spin. What are you kind of thinking here? Yeah, I mean, it's a green light flag for me. Uh, I kind of like to hit a little bit of a fade and the wind's off the left, slightly into. Yeah. So I'm looking at hitting like a kind of a flighted pitch wedge in there just to take the spin off it. Yeah. If I hit 50, it's just going to rip back off the front of the green, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does look like a left miss here is good, like, you know, middle of the green, but there's a big ridge in the middle. Okay. And if you do miss, like, say, 20 feet left, the putt is actually extremely difficult. Right, okay. Yeah, so the actual miss here, believe it or not, I know the pin is on the right, but short right or even right of the pin, because of an easy chip up the green and it's all uphill, so. Um, luckily, as I say, I've played a practice round here, so I yeah. know, but um, yeah, it's just something to, to kind of look at, um, you know, for, for amateurs, like say if the pin is on the right, yeah. maybe not to miss it right, but you actually have an easier shot than a, than a put on the green. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see you hit it in there and then we'll uh, chat a bit more as we get up. That's really good. Need a number. Oh, oof. Very nice. Well, cracking shot, left yourself a birdie opportunity. What a way to finish. Mm -hmm. I've thrown a ball further up the green to the left hand side which is kind of where where my thoughts were heading when we were back in the fairway and then i come up and see now what you were talking about with the miss down the right hand side but i just want to take us up there mm -hmm. just have a little look at what that particular shot would be we'd be facing with that one yeah this is going to be quick i mean it's downhill downwind, downwind. up and over a ridge a uh, lot of break yeah, it's, I mean, if I two put here, I'm very, very happy. Yeah. I actually don't think I can lay this dead. No. I think I'm gonna have at least five, six feet coming back if I hit a really good putt. Okay, well, let's hit it. And let's show the audience kind of what this type of putt looks like. Yeah, sounds good. Just almost like getting it to the top of the hill and then letting it feed now. That's so good. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think I could get it that close. I but... don't even know what you're worried about. <laughs> I think the miss is definitely in the middle of the green here. I think you could easily see there how much that is moving. And, you know, it didn't didn't take much of that to get away from you, did it? No, I mean, I've hit a, a 1 in 20 putt there, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah, I've hit a really, really good putt. But, yeah, it's you're just thinking two putt once you get up here. Let's just get, before you hole your birdie putt, let's just go down to the front right corner and just see what that kind of looks like as well as maybe a, a better option for people. Yeah. So I could easily see the miss being kind of down here. Even a, a shot into the green with a bit too much spin could drift off down into this position, couldn't it? Mm. But this is not a bad position for certainly someone like yourself. It's not a bad position to be, is it? You've got a bit of green to work with. Yep. Off an upslope. Okay, you're in the rough a little bit, so you're gonna lose a little bit of spin. But 
comfortable here? Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah, as you say, um, missing this side, you know, you've a little bit of green, it's actually back into the, into the wind yeah, as well. a little bit, isn't it? Greens are soft, uphill slope, yeah, so and the lie isn't fantastic, but yeah. I'd like to fancy my chances, and I think even for amateur, just getting like a 50 or 56 in this yeah. with the slope, you know. And there is a bit of a backstop there as well, isn't there? Exactly, exactly, um, yes. As long as I don't get it going too far, there's a bit of a backstop to be able to get that control of the shot. Um, yes. All right, well, let's see you playing the shot and then uh, see if you can get up and down from here as well. Yep, perfect. Nice, very good. Yep. Still got your one shot lead, got this for the win. Okay. Happy? Yeah. Should be just on the left edge. Nice firm hit. Nice, well done. So there's a lot to take from that particular hole as a strategy for a par four. I mean, off the tee, danger everywhere, but there is a way of getting from kind of A to B, isn't there? Absolutely, yeah. I, th I think on, on a hole, especially like that, um, like my target actually is in the fairway. Right. It's a tree, so I give myself leeway to the right-hand side and the left-hand side. Yeah. I think your amateur golfer could do that also. Yeah. Um, you know, like take their shot shape into consideration and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing is, is giving yourself leeway left and right because you know we're not we're not going to hit perfect golf shots the whole time. So just give yourself a little bit of a uh, little bit of room for error. And I think again an important message is you know even when you're playing into greens, like, the idea for most people and even myself to a point is that you just look at you look at the flag or you look at the middle of the fairway, but actually hitting away from those positions and, and almost playing a game of chess around the golf course is important, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. If, if you're an amateur golfer can do a little bit of homework, yeah. you know, see where the pin is, say that hole, for example, there, the pin is on the right, but if you did hit it 20 feet left, yeah. you had a really difficult putt, yeah. whereas you missed it just right of the green, you did an easy chip, you know, yeah. it, was, it was stressless, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just a little bit of homework and a bit of attention to detail, just to see where the pin is, you know, yeah. make a big difference. Well, I hope you like that video. Obviously, a big thank you to Stuart for his time to come out and just give us a bit of strategy of how he gets around the golf course and how, how he can help you get around the golf course. Um, thanks for your time. Don't forget to go and check out Stuart's social medias will be down in the description. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you again very soon. Thank you very much.